Welcome Midtown Video Web Surfers. I'm Jesse Miller, and today we're joined by Mr. Shibasan from Sony. What, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. And what is today's exciting topic? Uh, we are going to cover audio mixing function of the MCS AM switcher. Fantastic. If you would like to know more about the video functionality of the MCS 8M switcher, check out another video of ours. It's up on YouTube. Today we're featuring the audio input. Um, we've got We've got some cool faders on the front of the switcher. Uh, how many total audio inputs do we have? 15 audio inputs we have. 15 audio inputs. And that's a mix of digital and audio, correct? That's correct. So where are the digital inputs coming from? Uh, actually, we have a HDSDI or SDSDI plus HDMI. OK. All the digital inputs have a stereo embedded audio. So stereo audio embedded on the four HD SDI inputs or the three HD MI inputs. That's correct. And if I wanted to bring in analog audio, how many XLR inputs? Uh, two XLR and the four quarter inch. Four quarter and inch. And also two uh, RCA. Uh, two RCA oh, inputs yeah. so that I can connect my, my Sony Walkman to play the walk-up yes, music at the beginning sure. and end. <laughs> Fantastic. So that's 15 total inputs, but how many can I select to be on my program bus? Uh, up to six. That's why we have uh, six uh, faders. OK, six faders. Yeah. So from the available 15, we're going to select six audio signals to be on our program right. bus. Yeah. OK, pretty good. Uh, is there a headphone output so that I can hear what's going on? Oh, yes. Sure. And a visual indicator so that I can see the levels dancing? Yes. Fantastic. So um, we've got our six audio channels selected that we want to record to tape or, or, or broadcast to air. What if I wanted to connect an IFB to my talent? Can I get any kind of mix minus out of this? Oh, yes. Actually, we have a very similar function. So when you're using uh, auxiliary output, okay. uh, we can uh, illuminate one channel from the uh, mix uh, six channel audio. So that, that brings up another good question. How many audio outputs do we have? As an audio output, we have uh, four outputs from okay. uh, SDI embedded audio. Four outputs from SDI embedded audio. Yes. OK. Which means actually a programmer output yes. or a match viewing output. OK. Also a auxiliary output. Auxiliary okay. output on SDI. Exactly. And what if I want a straight analog output of the switcher itself? Yes, uh, we have an uh, analog output also. So you've got program output on XLR. Yes. Then you've also got a mix output on RCA. Yep. And then tell me about the auxiliary outputs. Auxiliary output, we also have an uh, embedded okay. SDI embedded output. Yes. So with 15 potential yep. inputs, we can select from those 15 any six right. we'd like, create a mix, and even create an auxiliary mix minus to send right. out. Fantastic. So once again, Shiba-san, what's, what's the customer that you have in mind to take advantage of the audio and video functionality of the MCS 8M? Actually, uh, the best application is for school okay. presentation or uh, maybe a church also, uh -huh. and also a corporation. All right. Yeah. So if you find yourself doing video production for a school, a church, or a corporation, you may want to get your hands on the Sony MCS 8M. Shiba-san, thank you very much for your thank time you. today. I appreciate you joining us. From all of us here at the Dot Studio and Midtown Video, this has been Jesse Miller saying, totally awesome.